Mmm, it's an orange juice. What's up everyone, this is OJ. The balance update goes live on December 11th. Direct damage spells are going to deal 5% less damage to crown towers. What this means is that they used to deal 40% of their total damage to the towers. Now, they will deal 35% of their total damage to crown towers. So at tournament standard, Zap used to deal 64 damage to crown towers. Now, it'll deal 56 damage. The log is a huge one, and a very appropriate nerf for the spell without messing its troop interactions. It got way too much value chipping away at towers and killing a princess at the same time. It used to deal 96 damage, now it'll deal 84 damage. Arrows aren't affected as much because you rarely rely on arrows to chip at their tower. It used to deal 98 damage, now it'll deal 86 damage. Fireball used to deal 229 damage, now 201 damage to the towers. Poison would deal 240 damage over 8 seconds. Now it'll deal 216 total damage over 8 seconds. Lightning doesn't deserve this, but it is to keep it consistent. Its damage is being reduced from 335 down to 293. The rocket is the most extreme nerf. 5% of a huge number is a huge nerf. 493 damage down to 432 damage. This is a fancy way to indirectly nerf the log bait decks. It's a very interesting, but appropriate approach to nerfing this deck. Even though spell tower damage was nerfed, they were kind of indirectly buffed because the elixir collectors were receiving a 13% health reduction. Most spell interactions remain the same, except now, lightning will completely shut down the collector. Another slight difference is that arrows will now deny 3 elixir. Another nerf to the log bait decks will be the goblins. They're receiving 6% damage reduction. This will affect goblins, goblin gang, and the goblin barrel. Not much will change with the regular goblins versus troops. It'll take like one extra stab to kill musketeers, ewes, giants, and pretty much half of the units in the game, but it's not really noticeable considering there are three of them. The hog rider is receiving a nerf. Its attack speed is 0.1 seconds slower now. It'll strike every 1.6 seconds. Also, its first strike will attack 0.1 seconds slower. This means Fireball, the Log, Bowler, and Death Bombs will be slightly more effective against the Hog. These cards have a knockback and is the only true attack reset in the game. This means every knockback is the Hog's first attack. The Knight was low-key too strong. His hit speed is slowing down by 0.1 second. This doesn't sound like much, but it's practically a 9% nerf in damage per second. It will be noticeable when defending against miners, bowlers, mega knights, and other really beefy units. The prince is receiving a 5% health boost and a faster attack speed. Its speed will be 0.1 second faster. This is a 7% increase in damage per second. Those moments when you can hit the tower just one more time for that 325 damage will change the game completely. The Ice Golem's Frost Nova will slow units half as long. It used to slow units for 2 seconds. Now it'll slow them for 1 second. Since the Knight also received a nerf, this balances the universe. The Giant Skeleton is finally receiving some love. This card has been avoided because when it was meta, it was the ultimate defensive wall card and would result in way too many draw games, but they're taking that risk and buffing this Titan. The Skeleton Barrel is now getting a death damage, kind of like golems and balloons. They haven't specified if it'll hit air, what the range is, or how much damage it'll do. We'll have to find out on Monday. The guards could potentially replace goblins, since these bad boys are receiving a health, damage, and hit speed buff. If you look at the increased damage and attack speed, that's a 14% damage per second increase. Bonus points that the guards have these long stabby forks, granting them 1.6 tile range. When positioned correctly, they can completely avoid golem death damage. By goblins, their health increase means that the archers will no longer one-shot guards without their shields. The tower interaction remains the same. There are a few bug fixes. The mortar will no longer wig out to ranged units placed right at the edge of its blind spot. The Inferno Dragon and Inferno Tower will now reset their attack against shielded units like Guards, Dark Prince, and the Cannon Cart. This is a significant indirect nerf. Guards protecting the Golem will now be able to stop Inferno Towers very well. The Dark Prince alone will be an interesting counter against the Inferno Dragon. 
but from my perspective, this is a huge nerf to the Inferno cards and another buff to guards. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more quality OJ.